My name is Animasha Rahim. I'm a 16 year old boxer from Mushin. And I recently fought in the 31st edition of the Go TV Boxing Night. And I emerged as the best boxer of the night. And I'm really proud and I'm happy of the result that came. It makes me feel very happy and accomplished because um, I didn't really want to be the type of person that brag, you understand? But I. I was happy that I showed myself because I knew my work, but what was just left was to make others know that um, I'm not just a young boxer, I'm a very experienced boxer, and I'm a very talented and good boxer. And for that same reason and purpose, the Go TV, this, they, they stick me out out of multitudes of people that are, ah, this is the guy that we should award the best boxer because of how I performed. What in training, but more blue, but the red tone, but you see, professional. On okay, on white, my tone is professional. I know. Ah, if we, if we, if we are here, that I don't see a chest one, a gentleman, but my woman, I buy a lamb. That's why I'm the tone is professional. But you know me too. Fun, fun, dear to the job. Ah. That's a question that I've not thought about yet, but um, it's the money, it's not for me, it's for my team, it's for us, because it's a team effort. I'll consult with my dad, my coach, um, the everybody, because um, it's not just something that I did myself, because they also spend time training me, a lot of days in the camp, sweats and everything. All of them are not on my level. I'm on a different level. I'm an elite boxer. They are not. They are beneath me, and I'm above them. I'm not afraid. I'm not scared of fighting any one of them. Yes, uh, uncle, they go go. Okay. 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 I saw the comments. They thought I was bragging, and days before the fight, I saw it. But I knew what I was coming to do. I knew my worth. I knew how talented I am. Because, um, as I said before, it's beneath me. I'm not rephrasing. Yes, it's beneath me. And others, and I'll prove myself. Yes, I'll prove it. I've done one. That's just, you guys have not seen nothing. You've not seen me yet. There are still others out there thinking, I know, it, it won. It was just a fluke. But no, this is what I do on a regular basis. Winning to me is just like eating, just like breathing, the normal thing. And I'll have matches, I'll have matches, and I'll continue to win them and win them and win them. And but I was kind of disappointed I didn't stop in the first round, but uh, just decided. But I'm a very talented boxer, and you guys, they, many more will come, many more will come. And this is just a start, this is the starting point, this is a glimpse of the iceberg. But you guys, um, there are a lot to come, and I'm aiming for the WBC gold. I'm aiming for it to be undisputed champion, to be five times, five division champions, and to break multiple records. Because Canelo also started at my age, he started non professional at 16 years old. Now he's at 65 fights, he's 161, and he's really doing well for himself. And I believe that I can surpass him. I really believe that. made me feel very happy, made me feel very happy. Because my dad fought 2015, I was seven years at that time, and I witnessed it. My dad is a type of boxer that he doesn't relent, he doesn't step back, he just forges ahead, you understand? And I believe that me stepping into that stage and doing the same thing that he did, and that will really make him proud, because that's my, only, that's, my, that's my aim, to make my father proud and to make people around me very proud. And I believe I did just that. And I'm not getting cocky or anything or bragging, but I know, I know, I know myself. I know I'm Badu. Um, I'm, I have lots of friends, lots of friends. And since I know the life that I want and the life that I want for my family and the background that I'm from, I'm not really the type that goes out to party with friends. 
Um, there are multiple times and moments that my friends have called me that, hey, Raheem, let's go, let's go out to party. But no, I'm in the gym. No, that's what I tell them. I'm always in the gym because I don't have time to just waste, to be frivolous with time, you understand? To just waste time partying, drinking, and engaging in social vices of life. No, but time will come. My dad says, my, my dad is say something. It's time and season for everything. And I know. Uh, times will come for those type of stuff, but it's not now. Now I have to work. I have to work very, very hard because climbing to the top, it's not a day's job. I know and I believe and I have faith that one day I'm going to be undisputed champion of the world. And my dad's boxing nickname was Ruto. Um, I haven't really asked him why he chose the name, but this is what I assume. Maybe he's a type of boxer that you understand Ruto. Understand what all those stuff in engine that makes it move, that makes it very, very fast. I think that's why he chose that nickname because it was just tenacious. Understand? It was he, he just everything that came onto his path, he just wiped them clean. You can ask people, boxers of then, because ah, uh, you guys, you guys need to just not watch my dad's fight. You can watch the Go TV boxing that happened in 2015. It destroyed the guy. It destroyed him, and I'm working in his part too. And I just want to make him proud. And I also have a sister too. She's also a boxer. Um, she's 11 years old right now. And she's also, she's doing very, 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 very well. And I'm really proud of her. And I believe that he's proud of us. And I just want to set a path for her to work that, ah, that's my other brother right there. I need to follow what he does. <laughs> Last busting day, the man she moment she busting the corner door too. I like a song it to make sure. But do it, oh no, do it. I'm pure my heart. That is Dubai, Wabajan. Oh, the book where you are going, oh, Chabi. But do it, eh? And so my dear, oh, 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 Lots of hobbies. And my dad is the type of guy that he ventures into multiple stuff. He ventures because, yes, that's true. That's what life is about because you never know where success might come from. So we just, we just spam into various activities. I, I sang once. I, I usually sing. I do have records of mine at home, which I, and we've acted films. We've done comedies. We've done lots of stuff. We've done skits. And I believe that, um, one day those stuffs they will they will come back they will come back because what goes around comes around yes because the good we've done they will come back to us because we've really tried we've done lots of stuffs because um to to be successful but now at the stage that I am now, that I am in now I believe that boxing is really is mine boxing is for me. <laughs> Three years old. Mama, more better. It's a it's a good change. I told him what be five years. I'm at that policeman. I'm at I don't follow it. Only time I know I'm I don't follow it. I want to be a Oh, I can't get it. We go for twenty-two. I love you. Oman Pelosi, Ghana, 
I've done winning the Bex Boxer and people are uh, people I mean it's made me feel somehow because they didn't because I felt like they didn't know my work before. Don't you know who I am? You know what I do, you know what I do, you know what I do when I get on that stage. There's Mike Tyson said, when you're in the ring, nobody is your friend. Nobody's your friend. You turn off that friendship mode. No, none of that. We don't do that thing in the ring. Because um, your opponent is coming to destroy you. At least that's what I look at. It's not coming to win. It's coming to destroy you, to end you, to end your career if possible. And that's the same thing I bring to the ring. And I, I'm a man of knowledge. Um, I speak very wisely. And I don't need people to tell me about that. Because I don't need people to tell me how much I'm worth. I don't need that. Because I know what I'm worth. I know what I can do. I know, and I'll keep saying it. I don't care if people think I'm bragging. I'm not bragging. I'm not cocky. You guys will see. You will know. You'll be forced to say the name. You'll be forced to tell me congratulations because I'm getting to the top. And there's nothing you guys can do without it. Right? But nevertheless, I thank my fans. I thank you guys. But it's not, it's not easy. It's not a day's job. Because without you guys, I won't be here. Thank you very much. I really thank my fans. People really reached out to me. A lot of celebrities, they followed me. My account was that I had like 600 followers before. But now I'm at 4,000, more than 73 followers right now. And I think I really commend them for that because I commend them for posting me because a lot of things have really been happening and my social handles have really been improving and my sister's handle too have been improving because she would also get to this stage because she would get there. And for some reason, I don't really tell her, but I think she's a better boxer than I am because um, she's, she's, she's different. She's, she's, I don't want to call her a beast, but you guys, you guys know she's, she's very different because you guys should come on my page. You can watch her videos too there because um, she's a female and she spars with male and she's only 11 years of age because she still has time to grow, she still has time to improve. I'm not, I'm not only going to limit myself to Nigeria only because there are a lot of boxers in the world. But in Nigeria, if possible, there's a Shia I've been saying his name, who will come. And if he's ready to accept the fight, let him come. And I'll show you guys what I can do again. And this guy is in US. He's rated number 15 in the world now. Regis Progress. Um, he suffered a lot from Devin Haney recently. He held the WBC, but... I don't think that guy's on my level. He can't, he can't beat me. He can't beat me. When we go 12 rounds, I'm going to give him a late round stoppage in like round eight. Yes, and there are other but There's Rolly Romero. He's definitely not on my level. Definitely. That's why if I can just, if if we just see any 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 chance to just get there, to get to the top, because I really think this fight will just come on easy. And, and I still have a lot of time to improve. And I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm at the level, I'm at the highest, I'm at, I'm at my prime right now, but I know that they still chance to improve. They see things that my coach will still tell me. They see things that I will experience in the ring. And I believe those stuff will just keep adding up and adding up. And I just really want a career like Canelo's career. That's just the that type of career that I want because I'm following its footsteps right now because my, I follow my third fire at Go TV. That's how we keep improving. Before this year, maybe I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be at 12 and 0 or something like that. If it's more to my way, or like it, then you pay. I'm at the top where you cook, I join Jambai. But to my dear, I'm four. Oh, mommy, but do a mock of bone when you open the mind that you give and drop it up in right. When you fool by open sugar, or she will never fall. I told you I'm a team. Yeah, 
I still have to be a lawyer, yes, because since I was a kid, since I was a kid, that was war, boxing. Because my friends would be like, how do you want to be a professional boxer and you want to be a lawyer again? So you know, be punching George, I was like, no, no, no. People usually play along with this song, and I fell in love with the song. And his songs were captivating to me, and I connected with it. That was why I chose the name Badu to be my stage. People usually play along with this song, and I fell in love with the song. And his songs were captivating to me, and I connected with it. That was why I chose the name Badu to be my stage name. Um, in the gym, first we start with exercises, we stretch, then we do jumping jacks from 50, 40, 30, 10. Then we run and we run. I can't say how many kilometers, but we run around the field. Then we walk on the pad, we do meet work, we walk on the back and shadow boxing, then we end everything. My favorite thing about Go TV Boxing Night is the fights, the matchups. Cause you see this guy undefeated, see this other guy undefeated. You bring them in, cause that's what that's really what boxing needs at this time. Cause if we look at other martial arts like UFC now, it's always the best fighting the best, and that's what Go TV does each time. You always see people who are undefeated. People, this guy ah, is a very good boxer, a talented boxer. Let's match them up and give the fans a very interesting match to watch. I want to thank Go TV. I want to thank Fly Kai Boxing Promotion because for bringing out the platform of the Go TV Boxing Night. Because um, right before they came, boxing was really dying in Nigeria. And it was becoming something that um, if if we were to fight, uh, maybe like no people, then they are not up to 100 to come to attend the venue. But Go TV has changed that. They have changed that a lot. Because now you see people wanting to fight. You see hundreds, hundreds of people come to a match, and that's thanks to them. And boxing is really coming up now. It's really coming up. Because we have our fighters going out to fight other boxers in other countries. And I really commend them for that. I really, without them, none of this would have ever happened. And without them, numerous stars, numerous stars. Go TV brought out baby face, numerous stars. And I go TV, they also gave me this opportunity and I thank them. And I thank them. And I also thank Flycat Boxing Promotion for posting me and for giving me the recognition that I deserve. Yes, that I earned for giving me. And for because of them, numerous people have been coming to my handle. They've been messaging, they've been commenting, they've been following, and I really thank them for that. Too. If you can get a technical knockout. Oh, fantastic! Nobody saw that one coming. Brilliant! It's going to be a tough one because Akpata Roro keep, keeps landing the punches against Akpata Roro. You can see this, another what one there. Shot again. Akpata Roro staggers. Can he finish him off? Wonderful combination from Bado and Imajau. Bado decided to pull back and, you know, try to reorganize again. And I, I think that was the most sensible thing to do. When you find out you're fighting a very durable boxer, you don't want to concentrate. Land. Pick up some points. It doesn't look too good. The tactics, the strategy. It's not a point. What a shot that time. What a shot. Fantastic combination. Adi Michelle gets him down. I think for the third time.